Hey there, welcome to the second theremin video. Uh, this is a video of my second theremin um, that I have built based on the same plan uh, that was offered on Instructables. And what I did differently this time was I shortened all the wires considerably uh, with the second theremin. It's a complete rebuild from scratch. Uh, the other theremin I gave to my brother. And uh, this is a new theremin with new parts. And what I did do that was one thing different was I ran the ground to the speaker from the rail that is the battery ground and I ran it from this end of the ground instead of running it from the third leg of the tono. Now last time it did work on that third leg that's sort of free up there but um, I was reading on different you know on another website that it should actually come from the ground and so what I did was I tried it from the far end of the ground from the battery to see if that would make it work because I would try to ground it somewhere else along the rail and it never seemed to work properly so I'm trying it from there and this is the result it is actually um, a much better theremin now it's in a cookie tin as well which helps with uh, grounding between these two pots and it really does work fairly well actually you can hear a tone See. Works quite well. And the tone does actually work fairly well. Very sensitive. Quite deep to pretty high. So I'm quite pleased with this. Um, and I will try to post some pictures of what it looks like on the inside, but pretty much it's what you see here, and that is that it. Uh, all I did really was ground it from the other end of the rail, the ground rail, to the speaker, and that was it. And, I, and again, you have to run it through some sort of receiver. So I'm running it through my Pioneer SX737, and um, if you try to run it through PC speakers or unpowered speakers, it won't work, and even powered speakers don't work. It has to be some sort of amplifier because it's a very soft signal. And I am running it through the old LM386 with filters um, right here. But even if I didn't use that, the amplifier works just as well, or fairly well. You know, so... Pretty cool. So thank you for watching the video. Um, I might move on to a different theremin now. But I will make another one. Uh, thank you very much for uh, checking this out. And I wish you well on your theremin build. Based on this schematic, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I will try to answer them for you. Thank you.